Well, hello, YouTube. How you doing? Long time no see. Uh, my phone was mash up. That's why uh, I got locked out of it because my screen was just so cracked that it just kept typing in my passcode over and over again. And it wasn't a good time, but I got some benefits from it. You know, I couldn't reply to anyone. I couldn't really do anything on my phone. Um, but I learned some valuable lessons from it that I'm going to put into a video because I think it's necessary for people to understand how much we rely on technology to just do everything. Oh my God. But yeah, weekly Postman vids are coming back, including this one. Stay tuned. I love you. I'm back, baby. That's all I can say. Let's go. Hello again. Welcome back to Postman Politics. I'm your host, Rowan McCavan. Join me today. Everyone's a knob. Nah, nah. <laughs> not everyone's a knob, but there's a lot of people out there who are just stupid. They just don't really like... It's not an ego trip, yeah? It's just like, use your brain. You've got one. Use it. Sometimes people are so <laughs> stupid. Oh, it's just like, a, it's a daily occurrence where multiple times as well, like once or twice, maybe even a few, sometimes several. I'll go in, knock on the door, give them the parcel. They're just like, oh, oh, what's, oh, is this for me? I'm at your house. Of, of course it's for you. Like, geez, I just, I just don't understand. Like, how can you be that stupid? If I've ordered a parcel, I mean, maybe they've got loads of money, but some of the houses I knock at, they, they clearly don't. And it's like, I don't have a lot of money. Barely any to pay my rent. As soon as I order a parcel, I'm going to track that motherfucker until it comes to my house because I want it. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be put in a safe place or go back to the depot. I want the thing that I've ordered. But some people just, they just don't care. And the, the classic, like, what is in it? Like... I give the parcels to them, they're like, oh, what is this? <laughs> I'm sorry, I do believe you're asking me what is in your parcel, and that would be a very stupid thing to do, so don't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's just nuts. It's just nuts. And that happens quite a lot. Like you, the viewers at home, surely you're like... If you order a parcel, you know when it's going to come. You're tra Even if you don't track it, you at least know that you've ordered something. Like, Or you might not. I mean, I'm just assuming, you know. One of the four agreements, don't assume. But sometimes you've got to. But yeah, <clears throat> that's just part of the um, old postman life, really. Right, check out this noise, everyone. Can you hear it? Can you hear that constant beeping? It's, it's absolutely fantastic. No, really, really. It's honestly amazing. This isn't gonna just stress me out all day. Do you hear it? It's saying the boot is open. I do believe it's closed. This is part of the reason, the part of the reason? This is part of the problem when you do jobs like this. I mean, I glorify it and it's this is a good one, you know? But if you can hear this right now, some of the vans are just so old. Like, this isn't even old, it's just 40. Like, it's telling me all the doors are open. They're just not. And it's gonna do that beeping for an eight hour shift, so. Funky, groovy, <laughs> yeah. That's a cool noise. Beep, 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 beep. It stopped. It's lit, it's. Mother. Du, 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 du. This day is quite shit. Du, 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 du. I'm not loving it. That van that was making that beeping, I had to take it back because it wasn't locking either, and I was in not the nicest of areas. So um, yeah, I had to. I can't be just leaving it out there unlocked whilst I'm going to flats or something. I'm not taking that risk. So I've had to come back, yeah, and it's five o'clock, yeah, I should be finishing about six, which is late anyway, like, I've, I've barely done anything because of that, like, it's been beeping the whole time, so it's been pissing me off, it's slowed me down a bit, I then couldn't lock it, so I've had to come back, get a new van, unload the parcels from the first van, put them into the next van, but then take 20 off because I can't do all the parcels because it slowed me down so much, then I've got to, like, do that. And then I've got to find another van that's even got charged. So I'm looking at all these different... Oh, it 
was an absolute ball lake. So yeah, that is, that's what can happen. You know what I mean? Like, started off all right. The beeping was getting on my nerves, but I had good vibes. And now it's just turned into an absolute shit show where I've barely delivered any parcels. No fault of my own. And I'm gonna have to leave 20 for the day, so. But that, my friends, concludes this episode of Postman Politics. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. It was absolutely riveting. Um, now, honestly, I appreciate when you guys watch these videos and give me a comment and give me a like. I really, it really does help. And it makes me feel like what I'm doing is actually something that people want to watch, you know? The videos are just gonna get better and better the more used to it I get and the more ideas flow through my brain, you know what I mean? So yeah, love ya, peace out, bye.